If holes in your plan, I'm gonna take it from you. All you have to do is tighten up that hole or make it a trap. Versus Jan. Izzy is moving up to 205 and going after the belt, the belt that John Jones just vacated. And now he's saying, Oh, yeah, John, I'm going to go take your belt. at the undisputed greatest middleweight in the world at present. Take on this, this fight. What like here? Let, let's look at it a bunch of different ways. Did he go up there as soon as? Did he go up there because John left? Is that your take on it, or do you just think it was the right time for him with a new champion? Like, hey, let me get up there. I think it was a bunch of things, and I think you know, right now, people are gonna sit here and like, I'm a homer. And I'm trying to put down the UFC, which none of it's true. I look at it and I go, this is a smart move. Yes, for the UFC. A very smart move because you know just as simple as it gets as soon as john jones left that you know light heavyweight division said i'm going to heavyweight the luster really went out of the light heavyweights for the ufc yeah blahovich beats reyes and he becomes champion and he's a good champion i i, I take nothing away from him. but it's as soon as john left it, it really takes a lot of the luster and polish of that division, which has been a stalwart of their, you know, entire entire roster. The light heavyweights have been, you know, awesome for a long time. And now it just doesn't have that same aura about it. And Izzy coming up into it, I think helps elevate that aura back, you know, getting towards something that, you know, when John left, kind of left with him.
Adesanya go down as the greatest fight in middleweight history? Israel Adesanya has won six fights in 14 months. Man, this guy is the real deal. The last style bender has 